Slave Girl accidentally lets in a pig, and so she's chased where she falls into a tree and meets a worm that makes her really tall. She decides she's not done being a slave and goes back to marry the king, who then feeds her to her babies. Skip ahead 2,000 years. Aaron Yeager is an annoying and boisterous boy who wants freedom. Good news for him because he has the Attack Titan and the Founding Titan. When his hometown is destroyed by Titans, he swears vengeance and joins the military. When his new hometown is destroyed by Titans, he swears extra vengeance and then saves the day by putting a rock against a hole in the wall. He's then chased by a giant girl, which despite what you may think is a very bad thing. All of his squad dies, but they discover who the Titan is and capture her. After an anticlimactic moment where Aaron's two closest friends reveal that they killed his mom, they attempt to escape with him, but then Aaron makes it rain Titans and they escape. After this, the government is shown to be rotten and they try to take the founder from Aaron, but Astoria decides not to, causing her dad to turn into a big faceless Titan which she kills. They then decide to go back to Shiganshina where Aaron's secret brother and former friends are waiting. They get into a fight and Armin eats Berthold. Reiner goes back to Marley and has PTSD about the past while Aaron kisses Astoria's hand and has PTSD about the future. Aaron then goes to Marley and kills a lot of people to make a point and then causes Reiner to hunt him down, but it turns out Zeke is working with Aaron and they awaken the founder and begin the rumbling. More happens, but the next season isn't out yet.